So why swinging faster makes you hit terrible golf shots is because of two things. One, if you've got problems with your transition in the downswing, you swinging faster is gonna make you over rotate your chest early, throwing the club over the top. That's one bit. Two, is if your golf swing is just technically poor, if you try to swing fast, you are gonna be encouraging all those poor movements going through your golf swing, because the faster you swing, the more subconscious you're swinging. So this video is not about swinging slower, absolutely not. I want you all to swing in a place where you can swing faster on a shot and still hit the ball to your target, not lose it straight away. So how we're gonna do that is by having a rock solid transition. If I'm starting the downswing with my lower body and mid torso, making my chest and arms passive, I can go as hard as I want and still make good strikes and the ball still relatively go where I want to. Of course, we might lose a little bit of accuracy, but we will still hit the ball fairly good. That's our one bit. We're gonna train that in this video. Two, we're not gonna train this bit in this video, and that is your individual swing faults, because I don't know what you're doing individually that's gonna be going to all hell as soon as you hit that golf ball. You could be having a steep shaft. You could be having a massively open club face. You might have a terrible slide. We're not really gonna know that. What is gonna fix that is lessons. Don't really shy away from lessons. So many of you do. So first thing I want you to do, get yourself a resistance band. If you've been watching this channel for a long time, you haven't got one yet, please get one, because I talk about this so much. So what we need to do is get this to an upright, and now we're gripping something with resistance. So if my transition goes crazy with that upper body rotating first, I'm gonna end up swinging over the top. So I want to now just rotate lower body mid torso, and if I want to, I can do it fairly fast. And that's gonna train when I swing faster for this transition to still be intact. Lower body, mid torso to still go. That's where we really need this part of the golf swing to be absolutely rock solid. It is, in my opinion, the new impact position is your transition because that will affect what happens throughout the entirety of the downswing. You have to have a good transition. So we can do that, lots and lots of reps. We can do this, grab your left arm, put it across your right shoulder here, and then pin it back with your right, turn lower body, mid torso. So now we can separate this again. We can get that lower body, mid torso turning. I'm stopping my upper body from doing anything. Brilliant, we can do a bunch of them. I can't stress enough how much of those you need to do. Way more than you think. Times it by 10, that's how much to do. So once we've done a bunch of those, the only real drill we can do for transition, but it's a brilliant one as well, is called the stop at the top drill. Pause drill, freezer drill, loads of names for it. It's pretty good, but really hard. So we get up to the top, we stop, we pause, maybe a second, and then swing down. So if we've been doing this transition work, what are we gonna start starting that downswing with? Lower body, mid torso, when we do this, we can segment backswing from downswing. So here we go, stop, so. So you can see there, really had a very noticeable lower body, mid torso, turn. So again, get up to the top, stop, and go. And really make sure we're feeling like, first thing, is this part of the body, rib cage down, unwinding as we're going through. You know what you need to do after you've hit a few of them? Go straight back to this, and straight back to that. Those two drills are the key to this. The one with the golf ball is good, but it's not as effective as those. Those are the best to do. So ultimately, the reason why you hit the ball worse when you swing faster and harder is not because that's the bad thing to do in golf, is you have to swing slow all the time. You absolutely don't. It's because your golf swing, in all honesty, probably sucks. You need to get it a lot better. So that's where the top players are going at their golf shots quite hard and quite fast all the time. We need to get our golf swing and have some key fundamentals in it so when we do build speed, we build good speed and not put speed on top of really poor foundations. So get your transition good and have lessons also. So there is a link in the description for online lessons with me on Skillist. You'll see loads of reviews there of how effective online lessons work. But from that, you can go and pick a good coach somewhere else and then really have them look at your golf swing, see what technical areas you've got, fix that, and then you'll be able to go hard at it and fast at it and hit good golf shots still. So if you enjoyed this video, of course, click that like button for more golf instruction just like this. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So get these points down and you'll be hitting the ball straight when you swing faster.